Ever wondered how you can invest in the stock market without having to analyze every single stock yourself? This my friends is where the magic of mutual funds comes into play. Picture this. A pool of resources gathered from multiple investors like yourself, that's put to work in the financial market. You're not alone in this journey. Instead you're part of a collective, a group of investors all aiming to make their money work for them. And the best part? This pool is managed by professionals, individuals who eat, sleep, and breathe finance. They use their knowledge and expertise to create a diversified portfolio, spreading the investment across a variety of assets. This means less risk for you since your eggs aren't all in one basket. It's like having your own personal team of financial experts all working to grow your investment. So, mutual funds can provide a simpler way to invest in the market. But how exactly do they work? Imagine you and your friends decide to pool your money to invest collectively. That's essentially how a mutual fund starts. Picture this. A group of individuals like yourself, maybe your friends, neighbors, or colleagues, come together with a common goal. They want to invest in the financial markets but they're aware that navigating these waters alone can be risky and challenging. So they pool their money together, creating a substantial sum. This pooled sum is what we call a mutual fund. This fund doesn't just sit idle, it's used to buy a mix of different investments like stocks, bonds, or other assets. This variety is what we refer to as a diversified portfolio. The goal of diversification is to spread the risk. So, if one investment performs poorly, the others in the portfolio can help offset that loss. It's the financial equivalent of not putting all your eggs in one basket. But who decides where this money goes? Enter the fund manager. This professional, with their expertise and experience, makes the investment decisions on behalf of all the investors in the fund. The fund manager's job is to study the market trends, analyze the data, and pick the investments that they believe will give the best returns. It's like having a personal financial advisor who's working for the benefit of all the investors combined. However, it's crucial to remember that the fund manager's decisions are not infallible. They're making educated predictions about the future of the markets, and sometimes, those predictions might not pan out as expected. In such cases, the performance of the mutual fund can suffer. It's also worth mentioning that mutual funds are not a one-size-fits-all solution. There are different types of mutual funds designed to cater to a wide range of investment goals and risk tolerances. From funds that focus on high-growth stocks to those that invest in government bonds, there's likely a mutual fund out there that fits your unique financial goals and risk tolerance. Now that you know how mutual funds work, let's delve into some of their key advantages. Mutual funds come with several benefits, one of which is diversification. Diversification is a strategy that blends a wide variety of investments within a portfolio. The rationale behind this technique contends that a portfolio constructed of different kinds of investments will, on average, yield higher returns and pose a lower risk than any individual investment found within the portfolio. Mutual funds are inherently diversified as they invest in a portfolio of different stocks or bonds. This diversification reduces the risk of a single investment failing. If one company's stock does poorly, it won't significantly impact the entire fund because the mutual fund holds many different investments. In essence, you're not putting all your eggs in one basket and that's a smart move. Another advantage is professional management. When you invest in a mutual fund, you're not just buying a piece of a diverse portfolio. You're also hiring a professional money manager. This manager uses analytical research, forecasts, and their expertise to make investment decisions. They have the knowledge and time to fully research and manage the investments, which is especially beneficial if you're new to investing or simply don't have the time to manage your own portfolio. The ease of investment is another key advantage of mutual funds. They're easy to buy. You can purchase mutual fund shares through a broker, a financial advisor, or sometimes directly from the fund itself. And since mutual funds pool money from many investors, you can get started with a relatively small amount of money. They're also easy to sell. Most mutual funds allow you to sell your shares on any business day. In short, mutual funds offer a way for you to invest in a diversified portfolio that's managed by professionals, with an ease of investment that's hard to beat. They can help reduce risk and potentially increase returns. However, like any investment, mutual funds also have their downsides. While mutual funds offer many benefits, they also come with a few drawbacks. Firstly, let's talk about fees. Mutual funds are managed by professionals who do the heavy lifting of researching, buying, and selling assets. But this service comes at a cost. 
There are management fees also known as expense ratios which can significantly eat into your returns over time. There are also sales charges and transaction fees. These are costs that you wouldn't typically incur if you were managing your own portfolio of individual stocks or bonds. Then, there's the lack of control. When you invest in a mutual fund, you're essentially handing over the reins to a fund manager. This means you can't pick and choose the specific assets in your portfolio. You're stuck with whatever the fund manager selects. If you're someone who likes to have a hands-on approach to your investments, this might feel a bit restrictive. Another potential downside is the lack of transparency. Mutual funds only disclose their holdings a few times a year, and by the time this information is released it may already be outdated. This can make it hard to know exactly where your money is invested at any given time. Additionally, mutual funds can be less tax efficient than other investment options. This is because fund managers frequently buy and sell assets within the fund, which can trigger capital gains taxes for the investors. These taxes can be a drag on your overall returns, especially if you're investing in a non-tax advantaged account. Lastly, like any investment, mutual funds come with risk. The value of your investment can go up, but it can also go down. This is particularly true for funds that invest in volatile markets or risky assets. It's important to understand this risk and to make sure that any mutual fund you invest in aligns with your risk tolerance and investment goals. Understanding these pros and cons can help you make an informed decision about whether mutual funds are right for you. Did you know there are different types of mutual funds you can invest in? Let's start with equity funds, the most common type of mutual fund. These funds invest primarily in stocks. They're designed for long-term growth and are a good fit for investors who are willing to take on a higher level of risk for the potential of higher returns. Within equity funds, there are several subcategories such as large cap, mid cap, and small cap funds, which refer to the size of the companies the fund invests in. There are also sector-specific funds like technology or healthcare funds that focus on a specific industry. Next, we have bond funds, sometimes called fixed income funds. These invest in bonds which are essentially IOUs issued by entities like governments or corporations. When you invest in a bond fund, you're lending your money to these entities in exchange for regular interest payments. Bond funds are generally considered less risky than equity funds, making them a popular choice for conservative investors seeking steady income. And then there's money market funds. These are considered the safest type of mutual fund. They invest in high-quality, short-term debt from governments, banks, and corporations. The aim here isn't so much growth as it is preservation of capital and liquidity. If you're looking for a place to park your money with minimal risk, a money market fund might be the way to go, but wait, there's more. We also have balanced or hybrid funds which combine stocks and bonds in one fund. These funds offer a balance of growth and income and can be a good fit for investors seeking diversification. Finally, there are index funds and exchange traded funds, or ETFs, which aim to replicate the performance of a specific index, like the S&P 500. These funds offer a low-cost way to diversify and are often recommended for beginners. Knowing the types of mutual funds can help you choose the one that fits your investment strategy best. Investing in mutual funds can be a great way to diversify your portfolio and potentially increase your returns. Let's take a moment to recap what we've covered today. We've explored the mechanics of mutual funds, how they pool resources from multiple investors to purchase a diversified array of assets. We've also discussed the benefits of mutual funds. They offer diversification, professional management, and accessibility for investors of all levels. But it's not all sunshine and rainbows. We've talked about the downsides too, such as fees, lack of control, and the potential for underperformance. We've also taken a look at the different types of mutual funds available, each with its own risk and reward profile. From equity funds to bond funds, sector funds to index funds, there's a mutual fund out there for almost every investor's needs. But remember, Investing always involves risk, so make sure to do your research and consider your financial goals before diving in. If you enjoyed this video, please like, share, and comment. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell to keep up with the latest content.